What's happening, Hot Wheelers? Joe Motor 49 back with you here, and as you can see, I've got a big box here. It takes up the whole screen. So, um, this box is from a relatively new YouTuber. His name is Conart, K J N A R T. And uh, new to YouTube, started collecting again. I think he works on real BMWs, which is cool. Love those of you guys that. Uh, have little car garages as well as work on real cars and real garages something I never got to do but um, con art want to thank you on the front end here for a really cool big box here so let's uh, open her up and see what we've got I'm gonna set it over to the side here so I can move my camera up where it's supposed to be and then uh, we'll be able to check it out now of course I've misplaced my knife so let me see if I can just get into this box without having to so like I said, Conart is uh, new to YouTube. He's got a few videos up. He just started getting back into collecting and um, is looking to do some trading and join the YouTube community. And I say welcome aboard. And uh, nothing like that first few months when you get the bug to collect Hot Wheels again. All right, so here we go. We got this opening here. And we got lots of goodies. Oh my goodness. All right. Joe Motor 49, congrats on being my first RAOK. Keep crack what you like, pass on what you don't. Hope for more RAOK's trades in the future. Happy hunting, con art. Very awesome. Thank you, sir. Always good to get a little trader mail here. All right, so got some packaging here. i make it through. Let's pull out some items. <laughs> I was remarking because he showed this box in one of his videos and I said, man, that's a big box. He said it's mostly packaging. And uh, there is a lot of packaging here, but that's a good thing. I mean, you can never have too much, you know. All right. Okay. I think I got everything out there. So here we got this goodie bag. And uh, man, you really package these things up well. Really good job here. All right, let's see what we've got here. Oh, baby. Skyline. My buddy Skyline right here. Can never have too many of those. Beautiful. Love that. Oh, nice. Porsche 993 GT2. I know uh, Con Art, you're a fan of the Porsches. It's a beautiful looking Porsche with the blue lens lights right there. I may have to crack that one. Got the nice spoiler on it. Beautiful. I don't, I've never picked that one up. Oh, awesome. Zamax 64 Lincoln Continental. I just found one of these, but the card was beat. So that's awesome. Have an extra one of the. Oh, and you also put in the. Uh, Custom 69 Chevy pickup. Super cool. That thing is awesome. Look at that. This is probably my favorite one they put out. I really liked this when I first saw it. I mean, just the casting. And then I got sick of it because it seemed like they were just doing whatever to it. But this Zamac brings it back. That is a beautiful way to do that 69 Chevy. So, very glad to get that. Thank you, sir. What else we got here? Ooh, more Zamax. Awesome. Here's the 72 Ford Ranchero. Never picked that one up. Awesome. And here is another Hearst wagon, which is cool because I cracked mine and I sent another one off to a buddy. So I'm glad to have that back. Very nice. Man, a whole set of Zamax. That is super cool. Very nice. All right, I think there's more here sitting in the box. Oh, you did not do that. Ah, uh, see what you put in there. All right, hold on a second. I see what you did there. Let's see, what do we got here? Oh, looky there. Looky there. Now, this I may have to crack right here. I found one of these, and I, and I debated about whether to get it or not. I thought I might send it off. That is sweet. This is the Dale Earnhardt... Uh, I don't even know what kind of car this is. It doesn't tell you what kind of car this is. But, uh, 
I guess that is a Chevrolet Monte Carlo. You see the Chevrolet up there in the front. But this is sort of, uh, this comes out in the NASCAR Authentic series, which is pretty popular in the Walmarts. They seem to peg warm, a lot of them do, but this one's really cool because it's got kind of a vintage look to it. You see there? And then uh, it's called NASCAR Icons is the series. I wish they'd do more of these because I'd pick a lot more of them up. That's really awesome, dude. Thank you very much. I may have to crack this one. That one may get cracked. In fact, we may crack that sooner than later. Oh, <laughs> look at that. All right, we're cracking this one. Uh, you won't believe I picked this one up the other day on a hunt because I was just looking at it thinking, that's crazy, but the card was beautiful, and I just didn't want to crack it, but guess what? We're cracking it. These Maestro All-Stars are starting to, uh, they're starting to up their game a little bit on some of these models. We're cracking this. This is awesome. Man, you kind of, kind of know what I like here because uh, any of these drag cars or anything with racing tampos or themed stuff on the side check this out this is awesome mad marge gone mad and it's a chevy nomad the nomad is gone mad and what's so funny about this is the mad marge it reminds me of uh Pee Wee herman's big adventure you tell him marge sent you so this is awesome. I'm really pleased to get that. That is sick. I love it. Those red and white lined uh, wheels there, the tires, slicks on the back. Then on the front, painted tail lights. You got the Maisto All-Star here. See if I can get the glare to stop glaring. Got All-Stars on the license plate right there. Firestone. Beautiful blue kind of uh, metal flake paint. Let's see if I can just get up here real close. You can see this uh, tampo really well. Beautiful. Look at that. Man, you kind of read my mind on this one. Look at the hood. Nice chrome, beefed up engine. Looks like a pipe organ in there. That's awesome. Love that. That is just super cool. Love that. That is so cool. Really happy to have that. And then <laughs> I can never, ever have too many of these vans. These vans are so cool. The old school van. I actually cracked mine and I sent one out so there it is back 77 is my year man so custom 77 Dodge van never hurts to have an extra I love this van even if it wasn't associated with old school I would totally be um, grabbing that so that's awesome I've seen these on the pegs and I think man I'm gonna get another one and then I think no I should save my money so awesome to get that that is super cool and then I see what you sent here I, uh, I had gotten this the Excalibur version of this and then I mentioned to him that I wanted to pick up the King Crunch version and there it is. This is a Monster Jam, uh, the Vintage series. So you can see down here it says Vintage. These are so cool. And uh, I wish they would do more of them. I think they did. They did the Excalibur, which I have. And I think they also have a Predator or maybe a Samson. I can't remember, but I love the Vintage uh, you know, I love vintage racing cars, I love vintage just about anything, but Vintage Monster Jam is pretty cool. And I can't believe you sent me that big old King Crunch for cracking it. Uh, what's cool about King Crunch is, is that they're from Texas. And you know, I'm sitting down here in the big Lone Star State, so the King Crunch is pretty darn cool. I'm not sure where the Excalibur guys were from, so check out this vintage uh, design here on the side. Nice chrome roll bar. You can see the interior and everything. They put the gear shift in there. Got the Hot Wheels logo. You know, one of the things I've always wondered with Hot Wheels is that they're licensed to do this model, which I, I don't know what the model of the truck is. It doesn't say, I don't think, on the base. But um, I don't know. Is that a Chevy, maybe a Ford? I'm not sure exactly what this model truck is. If you do, make a comment in the in the comments below. But I'd love to see a mainline truck. You know, just make this truck with regular wheels, or do what you did with this, the off-road Silverado and do an off-road. You know, the tires that are not monster tires, but they're big off-road tires, or do a street version of this piece here. I don't know why they don't because I think it'd be really popular. And if they're licensed to do it through Monster Jam, I don't see why they couldn't take this casting and put it on regular wheels. So you customizers out there, if you ever want to do a custom and send it to somebody, see if you can take this top off and put it on a factory base uh, or put it on some off-road rubber tires or something. 
one of these days I'll get into customizing, but um, until then I'll always wonder about these trucks. But that is so cool, dude. Con Art, thank you so much. Go check out his channel. I'll put a link to it in the description below. I'll do a close-up of some of these cars. Um, I'm cracking this, too. Why not? Well, I've got you on the video here. Is there anything else I'm going to crack? I think I'll keep that one in the case. I'm cracking this. We'll see what this is all about. Now, this comes with a... This comes with its own little box here, display box, so you can put your car in there. I'll show you what that looks like real quick. So I guess you're supposed to put it in there like this. Then you kind of have your own little little display box there. It's not real, um, it's not like a, an acrylic case or anything, but it's pretty cool. I mean, you could display it like that, and as long as you don't mess with it too much, it'd be just fine. But let me show you the car up close here as a little bonus. We'll just uh, do a little close-up of the car. And there you go. So this is uh, not super vintage. It's more like the 80s, I would guess, or maybe the early 90s even. But you still get a lot of awesome racing tampos. Sorry, I'm not I'm not especially close to my light here, so I need to make sure this is showing up right. Goodyear tires, Eagle tires. Look at all those racing tampos there. Wrangler. Even as Junior does Wrangler commercials. GM got. Dale Earnhardt signature there on the dash. Everything's red on the inside. You'd think for an Authentics they do a little better job on the interiors of these cars. But these are sort of introductory collectibles for NASCAR fans. You can you can really spend a lot of money doing the authentic NASCAR cars if you want to. But this one's awesome to have. Uh, it does have plastic tires and a plastic base, but I really like kind of that orange base on it. If you're interested, there's the base. So very awesome. Very pleased with this REOK. Um, you kind of talked it down, Con Art. So um, I was pleasantly surprised. A whole bunch of Zamax here, a Skyline, a Porsche, old school van, and the Gone Mad and the King Crunch. Awesome. So go check it out and uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.